All right, hey everyone. So in this video, we are talking about the product rule. I'm not going to prove the product rule or really explain why it is the way it is. I'm just gonna go over how we use it. So the product rule is used when we are taking the derivative of a product of functions. So when we're multiplying two functions together. So let's say we have f, a function, times g, another function, and we're taking the derivative, f times g prime. So when we do this, we might be tempted to just take the derivative of f and multiply it by the derivative of g. But unfortunately, it just isn't this simple. When we use the limit definition of the derivative to prove the product rule, it just doesn't work out this way. It's just not how it goes with that definition. So instead, we use the product rule. The product rule says that we take the derivative of f times g, the regular function g, and we add it to the original function f times the derivative of g. So we eventually take both derivatives, we take a derivative of f and a derivative of g, we just combine them together in the specific way that is designated by the product rule. So we can also write this using the other type of notation. So I could say that the derivative with respect to x of f times g is equal to the derivative of f times g plus f times the derivative of g. So just remember we can write it both ways. So before we hop into doing an example, something I like to do is to write this using a little bit less notation. Both of these ways of writing it are really long. So I sometimes just take out the of x in the first line. So instead I write f times g prime equals f prime times g plus f times g prime. So this is just a shorter way to write the product rule and I will be keeping this with us as we do the examples in this video. All right, let's jump into an example, and I'm going to keep some derivatives, our derivative rules we have so far, here on the side just to help us out as we're working through. So let's evaluate the derivative with respect to x of x times e to the x. So one way to know that you should use the product rule is if when you read it out loud, you literally have to say multiplying or times or something of that sort. So I guess I could say x e to the x, but when I read it, I think of x times e to the x, and then I go, oh yeah, product rule. There's two things happening here. So when we write this out using product rule, I say the derivative of x times e to the x plus x times the derivative of e to the x. And then we just simplify by finding each of these derivatives. So the derivative of x is 1, so I have 1 times e to the x, and the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, so I add x times e to the x. And then I just clean things up a little bit, and the derivative is e to the x plus x times e to the x. Okay, so let's try another example. This time, let's find the derivative of k with respect to x, that's that dk dx, if we have k is equal to quantity x squared minus 5x, all times e to the x. So again, here I'm saying times, I have two things multiplied by each other, so we're gonna use product rule. Why don't you pause and give it a shot and see how it goes. So before we jump into solving the problem, I just wanna highlight that the notation here is maybe slightly different from what we've seen before. So we're writing this as the derivative of k with respect to x, dk, dx, and then we have a formula for k, k equals something. This is just slightly different than writing it as a function where it's like f of x. This is just k equals. It's just slightly different. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Just I want you to be able to see this notation and know what it means. So dk dx means the derivative of k with respect to x. x is the variable that we're using. All right, so we have two pieces that are being multiplied. x squared minus 5x is being multiplied by e to the x. These are our two functions. So when we find the derivative of k with respect to x, we take the derivative of the first function. That's now 2x minus 5. We multiply it by e to the x. Then we leave the first function by itself, that's x squared minus 5x, and we take the derivative of the second function, e to the x, and its derivative is e to the x. So again, we have the derivative of x squared minus 5x, that goes at the beginning, and then we have the derivative of e to the x, that goes at the end. And that's our derivative. So you could probably clean this up a little bit if you wanted to, factor some stuff out or distribute, but I'd probably just leave it like this, not work too hard. So our derivative is 2x minus 5 e to the x 
plus x squared minus 5x times e to the x. All right, so let's try another example. This time, let's say that if t of x equals cosine x times sine x, find t prime of x. So here we have cosine times sine. That's a good indicator to use the product rule. So why don't you pause the video and try this one out on your own. Okay, welcome back. So let's try this together. I'm calling cosine the first function, our f in the formula, and sine the second function, our g in the formula. So I have the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine times sine left by itself, plus cosine left by itself times the derivative of sine, which is cosine. Okay, and let's just clean this up a little bit. I have negative sine squared x plus cosine squared x, and that's my derivative. All right, so let's do one more example for this video. So I'm gonna ask you to find the derivative with respect to x of the square root of x times tangent of x. So why don't you try this one, give it a shot. You can imagine we're using product rule since this is a product rule video. So go ahead, try that out. Okay, I'm going to use square root of x as my first function in the formula, that's my f, and then tangent as the second function, that's my g. So here, in order to take the derivative of the square root of x, I'm gonna to need to rewrite it as x to the 1 half, so I'm just gonna do this off to the side before I go ahead and take the derivative. All right, so we use power rule on the square root of x, so I'm left with 1 half x to the negative 1 half power, then I multiply it by tangent left on its own, add it to the square root of x left on its own, multiplied by the derivative of tangent, which is secant squared x. So this is a final answer. This is a good answer. I'm just going to clean it up so it doesn't have negative exponents. So I'm going to rewrite that first term as 1 over 2 times the square root of x, bringing that negative exponent into the denominator, changing it to a radical. And so my final solution is 1 over 2 square root x times tangent plus square root of x secant squared. And that's my derivative using product rule. Great, well thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.